Hello everyone. I am Chef Omesh, Assistant Professor at Chitkara School of Hospitality and today we will learn about basic knife skills and its uses. The topics we will cover today are the parts of knife, different types of knives, holding knife and the hand posters while, cook, while cutting, why different types of knives are required and the knife safety. Starting with the diagram of knife or the parts of knife, it starts with the tip of knife which is used to pierce knife inside the vegetables or meat item that needs to be cutted or cut. Then comes the spine or the back of the knife which is usually used to crack the, bo crack the bones which are thinner or crack the shells of lobster or crabs. It is also for the safety of the user because the spine is usually straight or not sharpened. Then comes cutting edge which is used to cut vegetables, meats or different other items. Then heel is something which is a link between knife, cutting edge and the handle. Bolster is the part which is used at the jun as the junction of knife edge, knife body and handle. A knife can have a full bolster or half bolster which has its own advantages and disadvantages. If we talk about advantages, it provides strength to a knife body. If we talk about disadvantages, it increases the weight of the whole knife. Then comes rivets which are the plugs which keeps the knife handle stick to a knife body. Then comes handle which is used to grip the knife. In this diagram, we will get to know about different types of knife. Starting from pairing knife which is used to pair the vegetables or it can be said to peel them or peel the hard vegetables like oranges, cantaloupe, melon etc. Then comes utility knife which is used for multi-purpose. Then comes steak knife which is used to cut steak or the meat parts which are tender. Then comes santoku knife or santoku knife which is a multi-purpose Japanese knife. Then a chef's knife having a length of 8 to 12 inches and it is a, it is a multi-purpose knife or can be said the king of the knives. Then bread knives which is specifically used to cut breads in bakery section or sometimes it is also used to cut tomatoes because of its serrated edge which is required for specific functions. Then boning knife to debone the meat from the bone, filling knife to fillet vegetables or meat parts, carving knife which is used to carve the vegetables in different designs, slicing knife for slicing purposes like slicing onions, slicing tomatoes and different other vegetables, then cleaver or Chinese chopper for chopping the vegetables and owning steel which is not a knife in itself but it is an important part of uh, kitchen knives or a, uh, a utensil which is used majorly along with kitchen knives. Basically owning steel is used to sharpen the knife after it has been sharpened with a wet stone or sharpening stone. Then this figure depicts how to hold a knife and what should be our hand posture while grabbing a knife or while cutting from a knife. So this figure shows here that uh, the person or the chef has gripped the knife with his thumb from one side and given it a balance to balance it he has put his index finger on the other side and with the rest or remaining three fingers he has rolled them in the handle so as to provide a firm grip. So while cutting it would not get skipped or slipped. For grabbing a vegetable, this figure shows that the chef has made a claw, a claw like poster from his hand and then he has grabbed the vegetables while cooking so that it gives a basic line or 
can be said uh, basic uh, block blockage between the fingertips and knife cutting edge so that the chef's hand, chef's finger can be avoided from cutting or uh, getting harmed if we talk about why different types of knives are required so it can be said that for different types of cutting and for different types of uh, cooking dishes or different types of meat different types of knives are required or they play a specific function in the kitchen in order to cut a small vegetable you would not be required to take uh, a whole length chef knife or a bread knife so we'll be using a smaller knife which is almost 6 inches to 8 inches for slicing bread or ripe tomatoes or crispy toast a serrated edge knife or a bread knife is the right tool to use then comes a long and straight edge ideal which is ideal for carving just like a carving knife then chef's knife which is an all purpose knife is the most important tool in a kitchen and it is ideal for most of the food preparation starting from mincing, dicing, chopping, slicing etc etc it is also known as or substituted as manual food processor by some of the chefs then if we talk about knife safety while keeping ourselves safe it is also required to keep our utensils also safe and clean so always keep your knife sharp because a blunt knife can harm the user use a cutting board not the station while cutting with the knife so that knife can be knife edge can be or cutting edge can be saved from getting blunt then pay attention while using a knife always cut away from yourself and others so that you do not harm or you can avoid any mishappenings in the kitchen use knives only for cutting purposes not for opening cans or for other purposes like uh, poking someone don't catch a falling knife while you are in a kitchen or do not play with a knife do not leave a knife in, in a sink full of water or full of detergent or washing water washing uh, water or do not leave the knife in between the washing pans or in between the vegetables because while someone is working he might not see the knife and can harm himself then always clean the knives carefully with sharp edge away from you and spine towards you then store the knife in the specific area or in a knife rack or sometimes a magnetic strip which is installed in the many installed in the kitchens for knives only usually all the knives should be kept in a drawers after washing and drying them always hold the knife beside you pointing its uh, points in pointing its edge or tip towards down and sharp edge back and away from you and never swing your knife while carrying it this is a diagram which shows how to sharpen a knife with a whetstone so whetstone is first kept in the um, immerse in the water then it is placed in a cloth dampened cloth so that it do not get skidded or skid then place your knife in such an angle that it remains between 10 degree to 20 degree angles and then rub it from uh, s to tip or heel to tip from one side uh, in a specific manner or in the number times like 10 times from one side and 10 times from other side and then check the edge whether it is sharpened or not by cutting a vegetable or a tomato this is a diagram which shows how to use a owning steel so owning steel is always used while you are cutting something and while you have already sharpened your knife in a wet stone owning steel is just to keep the edges sharp enough so that your work uh, can be done continuously without any hindrance and with this slide we would end our topic about the knives and its uses